Mohamed Morsi, a leader of the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt, was deposed in a military coup in July. On Monday, he went on trial for the first time with several of his Muslim Brotherhood colleagues. The charges leveled against them are incitement to violence and participation in violence in relation to the killing of protesters in December 2012 outside the presidential palace. That night, there were non-Islamist uh, protesters who were killed, but there were also Islamist protesters that were, that were killed. But of course, in the mood that Egypt is in today, uh, we're not really looking at the rule of law. We're looking at a very selective uh, justice. The trial was very quickly adjourned until January. The lawyers had not until now been able to see their clients or to review the case. I think Egypt has taken a very strange uh, turn over the past year, uh, in part because of a very, very deep resentment with the way that the Brotherhood uh, ruled the country for, for a year, um, because of, largely because of its incompetence. Um, the mood shifted to the point where people are now embracing a new form of authoritarianism, a military uh, led by the military security and security apparatus, without almost without even knowing it or, or realizing it. So yes, there is a creeping authoritarianism. The security services that should be uh, held accountable uh, for for many deaths. Uh, over the past few years during the first revolution and uh, until today um, are essentially now allowed to act with impunity. What Egyptians have been through um, is three years of constant, constant turmoil. The, econ the economy has essentially co collapsed. It's being propped up now with financial aid from Gulf states who were delighted with the move against, um, against Mr. Mursi in, in July. That, of course, is not sustainable because there are structural problems with the Egyptian economy. And a lot of people are upset because they have seen their livelihood affected by the political turmoil and the insecurity. So on that front, no, it's not sustainable. I think a lot of people now are craving uh, security and stability, and they seem to think that it's the military that will provide it. Of course, over the long term, that won't be the case. One of the crucial things that Egypt needs right now is some form of reconciliation. Um, the Brotherhood is not just being marginalized politically, it's being very heavily repressed. Most of their leaders are essentially now in jail. And the idea that you can rebuild um, the country um, by excluding what remains a sizable um, constituency, I think that is not a recipe for stability.